So now let's learn about how to do your makeup for photos. A lot of times you go in for your school photos and you're not quite sure what you want your makeup to look like, but it's really important because trust me, you'll look at those photos for the rest of your life. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a few easy tips and tricks that you can use when you do your makeup before your school photos. The first thing you wanna do is prime your skin with moisturizer, and we already did that with Ashley's skin. We did a moisturizer on the face and then also a moisturizer around the eyes that's specifically for the eyes. We are going to use a little bit of foundation, and I don't want you to think, oh great, I'm gonna put foundation all over my face like a mask. It doesn't have to be like that. It should just be on spots where you need it and mostly through the center of your face right in through here. I'm using a stick foundation that I really like and there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can actually put it straight on the face and then blend it out with your fingers or with a sponge or with a foundation brush. What I'm going to use today is actually a foundation brush and pick up the color with the foundation brush because I want more control. I don't want to put it on too much. So with the foundation, just start out in little areas where you know you need a little bit more coverage, mostly through the center of the face, and then a little bit around the mouth, and then above the eyebrows here. And then you just blend it in. The brush applies it very evenly and very quickly also. The brush that you use can be a foundation brush or it can be any flat synthetic brush. With foundations, they're typically more liquidy or a cream like this stick is and it will actually go on smoother with a brush, a synthetic brush rather than a natural bristle brush. And look up at the ceiling. It's really important that you use foundation or a concealer under your eyes as well. It makes a big difference, especially in photos. Now remember, whenever you put something light on your face, it brings things forward, and then dark colors bring things backwards. So we naturally have a little bit of darkness underneath the eyes and around our nose, so we definitely want to put a lighter color around that area. And I mean lighter as in skin tone. Color. So you can see the difference between the one eye that has the concealer on it or the foundation that I used as the concealer and then the other eye that doesn't. Plus you can just see a basic difference all over her face. It looks a lot more even. And then if there's any little visitors, blemishes or spots that you want to cover, just take the foundation and brush it on those areas a little bit heavier, so you have a little bit more coverage there. And there you go. Perfect. Now that we have foundation and concealer on Ashley, we're gonna put a little bit of powder on her skin. The powder actually sets the foundation and the concealer. So let's start right here through the center of the face, just going all the way down and then blend outwards and blend outwards. And from here you can just give yourself a little powder brush massage all over your face, including the eye area. It's really important that you use powder around the eyes over the concealer so it doesn't move. And I'm using a really soft natural bristle brush. This will allow it to go on very smooth and very evenly. There we go. You can see the difference because now she's a little bit more matte, whereas before she was a little bit more dewy and glowy. So not only does it give you a certain finish when you use powder, but it will set the products that you just put on, the foundation and concealer, so it lasts for a long time, which is important. So now we're gonna put on a little bit of blush, and when you put on blush, you want to make sure that you put it where you naturally blush. So just right in through the apple of the cheek, and it will look like a really natural color. And the color that I'm using is really close to Ashley's natural lip tone. That's a good way to gauge what color blush you should use. And I'm just putting it right on the apples of her cheeks. So it looks really healthy and not really makeup-y. You'll notice I'm going in a circular motion and not necessarily back like this. So circular motion is a little bit more 
easy for you to apply it. Perfect. Looks good.